Hey, what's up people? Martin Unix here. Welcome again guys to my YouTube channel. Guys, today I'm about to show you a new style, a new technique on how to start your dreadlocks. Guys, we are going to do feeder locks on natural hair. And I'm going to show you guys on how you can combine techniques to come up with amazing look. So, welcome guys. Alright. This is what we have done. Guys, you can have a look. We have done our interlocks and my client wants her locks to be loose at the hands. So guys, we have not done the hands. So she decided to leave the hands loose. That way, it's another look, guys, and it's amazing. So it's kind of, it looks like sister locks. So guys, the parting has been well done. You can have a look. Now we are going to go ahead and do the interlocks. So I began by doing parting at the center. You can have a look. Now I'm going to take you through the interlocking process. That way. Just section your your hair into certain portion like on my case now we are going to do interlock on this portion i'm going to take you through the interlocking process so we are going to begin by back comping the tip and why are we doing so we are back comping the tip just to hand grip at the painting area so that our our hinder locks can't run over time. So let's do the hinder locks, guys. I'm gonna do a free hand technique, guys. So I will be doing a three point turn. So and that's how you do it. That's my first turn, my second turn, then that's my final turn. So guys, I'm going to do a three-point turn. So you repeat the process. It's kind of recurrent pattern. So for our beginners, guys, you can use a crochet tool for our pro stylists. I guess you can walk through this interlocking method. I find it simpler using my fingers to certain level. I will also guys use my crochet tool to interlock the end section. So it's a three point turn guys. Now this is my crochet tool. I'm gonna do a three-point turn. That's how you do your interlocks. So my three-point turn will start at this side. So this is the first interlock. I'm gonna do the second interlock, then the final. That's our three point turn. Then you repeat backwards that way, all the way to where you started. Just lose it and find another section where you can correctly do the interlock without too much tension. That 
you guys now after doing the hinder locks this is what i just come up with so now guys we are going to use crochet to a little bit smoothen the frizzed hair as well as loosening the interlocking joints to make our lock strand more manageable so so i'm gonna use this single boot crochet tool which is 0.5 mm so just pick your fringed hair i understand guys have been giving tutorials on how to use this crochet tool you can visit my channel for more about this but what happens with the crochet tool is that uh, it, it usually handles inside the block strand then comes out with certain block strands then it creates it creates loops then once you go back and come out you usually end up completing such loops hence tangling the hair further that way so <coughs> that way guys now we can move on to the next strand all right guys now we are done with our interlocks remember guys we were showing a quick way of starting the lock journey and uh, just for the sake of our beginners guys we have left out a portion here through which I'm going to take you through the interlocking process so guys this is the way to go about it pick your portion try and back home the uh, ending area that way is just to create grip here as we said and uh, after doing so guys you'll have to do some interlocks remember that guys interlock can be done uh, in different ways you can choose to go uh, a two point turn guys you can as well choose to do a three point turn and you can as well guys choose to do a four point turn on our case guys we are going to do a three point turn and i'm gonna be using my fingers that way to do the interlocks that's our second and then the third so and the process is kind of recurrent so you just repeat the process all the way through that way guys just in the lock your section and just your hair strands where you need to be all the way to the to the scalp guys remember to subscribe to my youtube channel like my own comment and share with your friends you can as well guys join membership as a way as a way of supporting the channel Now guys, after reaching this area, I'm gonna pick my crochet because now my fingers can't enter and I'm gonna do the three point turn. Remember guys, you can use, use your crochet all the way from this point downwards, but uh, I prefer using my free hand because it gives, it gives me some loose interlocks. So guys, I'm going to do the interlocking process and I'm gonna do a three point turn that way. The first one, then the second one, then the third one. That way, guys. Now you can do an extra interlock if the lock is not found on the scalp service, like on my case. That's my final interlock. And it's wow guys now what are we going to do guys we are going to loosen the interlocks by use of crochet this time out guys i'm going to use this crochet tool 
Kanavi look guys is double hooked crochet tool which is 0.5 mm so let's smoothen the fringed hair that way so remember guys whenever you want to take out your crochet tool as you work back once you need to take out the crochet hook at certain angle like on my case guys is how i usually pull out the crochet tool you insert your crochet tool then once you want to take out the crochet tool make sure that you bend the tool that way so that the, the, the hooks can get off the loops as well and remember that uh, what happens whenever you're doing the crochet the hooks usually enter the log strands coming out with some hair strands and uh, creating loops and once you push your crochet tool like on my case guys i've come out with some hair strands you can have a look and whenever you go inside guys the loops slide through the crochet and then the crochet enters the log strand picks more hair strands creating uh, other loops thereby ending up by completing the previous loop loops guys that way guys now you you find yourself in the locking that is you you find yourself uh, tangling the hair more then you come up with a lock strand that way All right, guys, after doing the oil application, now we are going to do a symbol style for my client just to introduce her to the styling industry. We are going to do a two strand twist. So, this is how you can usually do the two strand twist. So, we'll be picking two strands and twisting them all the way down together that way that's how you do the twist one twist guys so since we did in the interlocks guys you don't have to be so tight on this part and remember that guys our hair is loose at the ends and uh, since our hair is loose guys we will not need rubber bands to secure the ends so the hair will secure itself. Okay. The hair will secure itself. And have a look guys. Then the the handing tip you can just trim it off. That way. So just for the sake of our beginners, you can do another twist out all together. That way. Just twist your log strands all together that way all the way downwards that's how you do two strand twist it's just a technique of you know picking the strands that way just working backwards tilt your strands while working backwards that way twist them certain angle and twist them backwards all the way to the tips then you can trim the tip a little bit that way remember that the hair will be securing itself guys guys now we are done I've done my twist outs remember that these are fresh locks and uh, the twist house guys now resembles kinky braid and it's a nice look guys since uh, when the hair is fresh it's usually uh, frizzy that's how that's why we have come out with this kind of look and remember that guys we had left the hands loose so there was no need of rubber bands to secure the hands the hair just secured itself and uh, 
this the final outcome guys you can have a look amazing you can have a look at the pattern at the center all the way around so nice it's amazing guys i hope my tutorial was instructive and before the, my closing remarks guys i want to introduce my client my client wanna say the one with you guys so i've been wanting to lock my hair for many years now because um, i just find it's just more manageable i don't enjoy the experience of combing and detangling so i'm really looking forward to experiencing this new look and I uh, decided to leave the ends out, the tips, because in time I want to curl it. When I wet it, it can curl. I think it just looks lighter and more natural. So yeah, keep the bookings coming.